follow me. Today I came to Eddie's Attic and I talked to local musician Mike Kinnebrew about what kind of music he plays and how he got started. So this is because uh, the kids all just went back to school. So I've got a um, 11 and a 13 year old. First day pre-K with a sign your mama made. If I see a tear, we're out of here. We're not legally required to stay. And I'll hide on the other side of the door until it's clear. Then drive home all alone, laughing at my tears. Cause it's only half a day. It's not even every day. But I miss you when you're not here. And before we started shooting this, you were telling me a little bit about a little bit about your history with Eddie's Attic. Can you kind of talk about that again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I was young when I first walked up those steps for the first time. Eddie's was a. Uh, it was the place that you wanted to play, especially if you're writing songs, if you're an acoustic guy, and um, a lot of uh, famous people had come through there. And so um, the only way you could get on the stage at all uh, was on the open mic nights, on Monday nights. And so I was, I think, a senior in high school and uh, came with my three songs and, and, and played. So when did you first start getting into music? We moved around a lot and uh, so I wasn't really, I didn't have a lot of friends from building year after year. Mm -hmm. So uh, so it was kind of a way to distinguish myself and set myself apart. I wasn't an athlete, I wasn't like the smart kid. I didn't come from the family that everybody knew about. And so I thought maybe if I could play guitar and sing, I could get girls. <laughs> so, um, no, but uh, yeah, music was kind of the only thing that I think I could call my own, mm -hmm. and, and I loved it. What kind of music did you listen to growing up that inspired what you do now? Listen to the stuff my parents listened to, and then I listened to the stuff my parents let me listen mm -hmm. to because they were really conservative, and my dad was a preacher. Gotcha. And so um, there was a lot of stuff I wanted to listen to that I wasn't able to. I had some like covert tapes that you know weren't marked, so they didn't <laughs> yeah. know what was on it. But um, I mean, they were listening to stuff like Lionel Richie mm -hmm. and Air Supply. And the Beatles and Elvis was some of my dad's favorite. And I still, I still love that stuff. I'll cover a Lionel Richie mm -hmm. song right now. Um, but I am, you know, a guy with an acoustic guitar and songs that's not country. So I guess that's maybe Americana or folk. But really, it's more like a throwback to the James Taylor, mm -hmm. and Paul Simon, and Jackson Brown stuff. Nice. It's a mad rush. It's teeth brushed. It's have you seen my shoes? It's sleepy eyes and sunset rise, there's a million things to do. Mom stayed up late, got lunches made, gonna be on time this year. So brush your hair, let's say a prayer before you disappear. And as I clean up the remains, of the family hurricane I miss you when you're not here And when you play here, what venues do you play at? Right here, mostly. <laughs> you know, this is my home away from home. Uh -huh. I've played here more than ever. I start out with the open mic nights and then to the random nights and then uh, then headlining like Friday, Saturdays and selling those out and then a sold out double shows here. And uh, and then most recently I played at the Buckhead Theater and mm -hmm. got to headline that. And that, nice. was, that was awesome. So hopefully the Buckhead Theater will be the next place. Yeah, that's a fun um, venue for sure. Yeah. And then I travel a good bit. So North Carolina, South Carolina. Nice. But honestly, I mean, I love the big shows. That's what I'm like striving right. for. But I would come play in your living room mm -hmm. if you bring <laughs> some people that wanted to hear some songs. I just love to play my songs for people and nice. have that that connection, you know, mm -hmm. when, when you share something and people go, I feel that. Mm -hmm. When and where are you playing next? Yeah, I'm playing in Scotland. Oh, wow. Yeah, in about a week and a half, I'll be uh, in Scotland okay. for something called Fringe Fest. Nice. I played a show, actually, 
in Duluth uh, with a girl named Stephanie Staples, who's a songwriter, who's um, just a beautiful songwriter and singer, and um, and she's doing an album release out in Edinburgh. Really exciting. I will never have a better answer for that question than there I have right go. here. There you go. This was perfect timing. Yeah, I know. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. I have a new album coming mm -hmm. out, too, and that'll be coming out in the fall. Nice. Actually, I have a song coming out this Friday. So, um, so but yeah, um, just search Mike Kennebrew. I'm sure it'll be up on the screen somewhere. Um, and uh, you'll find all the music you could handle. Awesome. Oh, but everything's okay. I only call to say that I miss you when you're not here. And thank God Christmas break is only four more weeks away. Cause I miss you There you go.